Okay, so you are going to write about a strong introduction for today. Okay, so when you want to write your strong introduction, you need to be able to answer, you need to be able to look at the questions first. Okay, so in this example, the question is, one reason why zoos keep animals in cages is to study them and protect them for the future. Okay, so where do you think the topic for this one? Okay, is this a good way or a bad way to help animals? Okay, so what topic uh, this essay would be based on the questions that we have there? One reason why those keep animals in cages is to study them and protect them from the future. Uh, is this a good way or a bad way to help animals? Okay, uh, what do you think the topic is based on the question there? Okay, if you can just write the questions, uh, sorry, the topic on the YouTube section so that I can know if you're on the right track, that would be great, okay? Just type away the topic that you think is uh, uh, is expected in the question there. Okay, i give you one minute for that. Okay, write the topic on the YouTube uh, comment section. What do you think the topic should be for the question there? Anybody? What do you think the topic would be? Okay, give me another one minute. One minute to figure out the topic based on the questions. Okay, most of you answered advantages or disadvantages of keeping animals um, in a cage. Okay, uh, yeah, that's that could be a topic for that one because of the word good way. Is it a good way or a bad way to help animals? Okay, uh, you're getting the gist right there. Good job. Okay, so you're talking about whether it's good or not uh, keeping animals in a cage. Okay, right. Okay. Are zoos a good or bad thing? Um, that is acceptable too because again, zoos put animals in cage. Okay. But then you have to mention that when you write about zoos, you have to very clear that um, uh, the approach of using cages in zoos, right? Advantages and disadvantages of zoos. Hmm, that one is a bit far fetched, Serena. Um. Yeah, because that's uh that's not exactly focusing on uh animals in cage. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you for your response. Okay, so that's how you identify the topic of the question. Okay. Um so after you have identified the topic, let's look at the introductions uh that is provided for you. Okay. There are three introductions. A, animals need protecting, but in my opinion, zoos shouldn't keep animals in cages to study them and protect them for the future. It's not a good way to help them. Okay. For B, zoo knows that many types of wildlife are in danger. If they can find ways of saving these animals by studying some of them, then I think they are doing something very good for nature. And last one, C, while animals are in increasing danger in the modern world, I think we should do all the what all we can to increase our knowledge of nature and protect it. Okay, now you have read all the three introductions there. Um, 
which introduction for number one. Uh, you need to choose lah whether A, B or C. Uh, wrongly uses informal language such as contractions if they are, uh, uh, for example, they are inst instead of they are. Okay, which introduction that uses informal language wrongly? Which one? Right on the comment section, if you must. Okay, so which introduction wrongly uses informal language? A, B, or C? This one is quite clear, I think. A, B, or C? Good. Okay, most of you answered it right. And say it's A. Okay. Number two, copies too many words from the task. The introduction copies too many words from the task, meaning that they're almost like copying the question. Which one? A, B, or C? For number two, who copies too many words from the task? A, B, or C? Very good. Okay, the answer is also A. Okay, they basically copy, every, uh, not everything, like 80% of the questions to their introduction. Uh, to write a good introduction, you shouldn't do that. Eh? You cannot uh, copy that much from a question. Okay, number three, does not introduce the topic. So you identify the topic just now as advantages or disadvantages of putting uh, animals in cage. Which A, B and C introduction that did not introduce this topic that you have identified just now? That has nothing to do with um, putting animals in cages and their good or bad way of doing that. Which A, B, or C that's doing that? That does not introduce the topic. Okay, which one? Okay, let's see the answers for number three. The answer is C. Okay, because C does not talk about a uh, good or bad way to have animals uh, when you're putting them on in cages. Okay, you C is talking about um, while animals are in increasing danger in the modern world. I think we should do all we can to increase our knowledge of nature to protect it. It's, it does it doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with cages. It doesn't have anything to do with putting animals in cages. So C is way off track. Number four does not give an opinion on the questions of the task. Does not give an opinion on the question in the task. All of them have opinions if you can see they are, they talk they use the word I think I think uh, but that's one that did not use um, any, did not give any opinion. Okay, which, which paragraph, A, B, or C? Okay, uh, the answer is C. Uh, there's no opinion because uh, C is talking about different thing already, so the opinion does not matter. Uh, and number five, cor correctly introduces the essay task is B, okay? So B is the best way of introducing the questions that uh, is posted there. Okay, um, you have been talking about the environment in class. Now your English teacher has asked you to write an essay for homework. Okay, write your essay uh, using all the notes and give you reasons for point of view. Okay, so... You need to read these two alternative opening paragraphs for the essay that was written because number two is the task to the question two. Decide in class which one successfully introduces the topic and writer's opinion, then take the correct box. Okay. Um, I give you time to read uh, paragraph A and B. So you're... Good. 
we are going to choose either paragraph A or B that is better to um, that is better to introduce the topic in number two. Okay, choose A or B. Uh, how about two minutes for this one? A or B. Okay, very good. Okay, the answer is B. Okay, B is the best way, the best way of introducing the topic of the best introduction between A and B. Okay, uh, because why? Um, they specifically talk about banning plastic bags. A is A might look like it's good, but it does not specify what they're talking about. It's just talking about plastic and not going straight to the point. B, however, is talking straight away about banning them in shops because the topic for number two is, uh, is, it, uh, is plastic bags good or bad for shoppers? Okay, good. All right, now let's try number four. Now read the rest of the essay and answer the questions below it. Okay, first of all, a huge proportion of our rubbish is made of plastic, which does not decompose like paper and other waste products. Plastic takes years to disappear from the land. In addition, many of the world's oceans and rivers are polluted by millions of plastic bags, which are a danger to fish and other animals. Ducks and birds can get trapped in them and die, for instance, and fish get slowly poisoned if they eat them. Moreover, there is no need for plastic bags in shops. People can easily get used to taking their own shopping bags with them when they go out. All in all, I think more and more countries should stop use uh, should stop shops using dangerous and unnecessary plastic bags. The world would be a much better place without them. Okay, uh, let's look at number one. Underline the main point of the writer makes about notes one and two. Okay, note one and two is about plastic rubbish and pollution. Okay, uh. Where is the main point for plastic rubbish and water pollution? Which paragraph? They are in paragraph. Uh, the next paragraph, paragraph one, and paragraph two. Okay, that's uh, uh because they are actually a continuation, so this, they are actually in paragraph two and three. Okay, so underline the main point of the writer makes as a third idea. Okay, the third idea is. Uh, their own idea. Okay, so you talk, uh, they found plastic rubbish and water pollution. So what's their idea? If you can see the idea paragraph, if you choose, if you counted the previous one. Okay, the own idea. So the own idea is there is no need for plastic bags in shops. Okay, so that, uh, that is their own idea. So they use, people can easily get used to taking their own shopping bags with them when they go out. And last one, in which paragraph does the writer use examples to show one of the points? Okay, so the use of word, for instance, there, in paragraph two. Okay, um, I think that's all for 
my input for today before I leave you off for uh, to do the task for today. And I've already assigned those tasks on your Google Classroom. Um, any questions before I leave you to your task? Okay, any questions? All right, so uh, if you could find the task in on your Google Classroom. Um, okay, if you could find the task, the task is in here. Okay, wait, let me share. Okay, the task is here. Okay, it's already assigned in your on your Google Classroom. Again, you have to uh, submit your right. Uh, there are two tasks. One is Google Form. Another one is writing opinion. Okay, the Google Form is actually um, a listening task, a very short listening task, uh, because I don't think I need to teach listening. All right. So uh, the task is listening, and then the last, the second one is writing opinion. Again, you have to submit your work on. Google Docs lah, like we did, well, like we always did previously. Okay, I think that's all for today. Uh, please straight away uh, do your task and then I would expect your uh, write-up to be done at least by the end of today. Meaning that if I open your uh, Google Classroom tomorrow, all of you have submitted your work. Okay, all right. I think that's all for today, class. Thank you and good luck with your task.